space is so interesting in itself. There's a lot out there that we don't know all that much about. So it's quite fun and exciting to go and explore it. Creative Cosmos is a project that we've been working on at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. It's in association with Astronomy Photographer of the Year. We want more young people to get involved uh, because they can. And that's why we created Creative Cosmos, to show another side to astronomy photography. Young people can take part in lots of different ways, whether you're really into the science or you're really into the art or you like a bit of both, or perhaps you don't like either but you like poetry or creative writing, you can kind of link anything you want to Creative Cosmos. Get involved with it in whatever way suits you. If a school want to get involved with Creative Cosmos, they need to go to the Make Waves website and they'll find everything they could possibly need all there in one place. There's loads of stuff to use as inspiration, different videos and guides and fact files and all sorts of different stuff. And if you don't find what you want there, then you can always Skype with our team and our astronomers and they can answer anything that is left unanswered for you. Everything that we've seen on Creative Cosmos has been new to us because I didn't even know there were sunspots in space or comets because normally they're just things that you hear about. Before you can do things like take some pictures, go out and plan your observing nights, you've got to know what you're looking for because otherwise you're just looking at the sky full of stars. So the inspiration phase is when you look at different bits of the science within astronomy photography, to comets or asteroids or the northern lights. And we're asking people to find out about the science behind why they're different and then say which one they prefer. If they were going to take the image themselves, what would they do differently? And then when they do that, they can win some badges. And if their comments are so good and their science is so good, then they might even win the gold badge that week and some extra prizes. And then later on, we're asking people to have a go for themselves and try and take some pictures. When I saw the picture that had shooting stars in it, or instantly I knew that that, is, that was what I wanted to go for because they looked like they looked very nice and very beautiful and especially when I got to like zoom in and see everything that's going on. I got the gold badge so um, I definitely knew that my comment was good. I enjoyed most that we could we had a website and we could explore it and we know more about space. We can go on different trips and stuff to learn about space and we could show them that we've learned new things. 